Thank you, Mark. Um, business leaders and community leaders gathered this afternoon to hear what Governor Mitch Daniels had to say. Mitch Daniels pinpointed where Indiana stands in this economy. Governor Daniels makes his way through an expected crowd at the landing in Terre Haute. On the governor's agenda, ways to fight the recession and win. Daniels addressed cuts to education by mentioning this is the first time in Indiana's history K-12 education has been half of the state's budget. And that just reflects the importance that we place on uh, this function of uh, what we do. Last year, the government was nearly shut down as lawmakers ran close to a deadline to approve a budget. In the rounds of budget discussion, here is the result. In a compromise, we agreed to uh, provide uh, or to use about a quarter of our reserves, of our savings account, to get through this two years. It will now turn out that we'll use it all. Still, Daniels holds strong that Indiana is doing well. But this is vastly better than the situation in other states, which most of whom had no reserves to start with. Cuts to education, the Board of Animal Health, no raises for state workers, Daniels believes is the only way to go. If you think those were unacceptable moves, then you have a responsibility to say right now, what tax do you want to raise? There is no other option. Last night, I asked you all on Facebook what questions you wanted me to ask Governor Mitch Daniels today. Well, I asked him a few of those questions, and you can find his response on our website at WTHITV.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jane Santucci, News 10. Back to you, Mark Patrice.